Tune in to Overcomers TV on your favorite app or streaming platform. It's time to overcome. All right, Bill, so tell us, how did you first learn about HBI Global Partners? Uh, I first learned about HBI a little over 20 years ago. I worked for a mission agency then called Transworld Radio. And this man named Bobby Gupta had come to the States to help us produce some broadcasts that we could uh, broadcast shortwave and AM into India, into parts of India where the gospel had not reached. And I met Bobby. We became really good friends at that point. And it, uh, then we began to talk about how we could help him equip their pastors to be missional. How it's not enough to plant a church, but to raise missionaries up. And so for several years there, we were working and helping to train key leaders within uh, HBI uh, in how to build missional churches. And so that's how it got started. Uh, fast forward about 15 years. Uh, I was a pastor in multiple churches, in several churches. And I became the missions pastor at a church up in Virginia. And my staff said, hey, can you connect us with someone in Asia that really does a good job has a high level of integrity that we could really trust. And I said, I know exactly the person. And I had not talked to Bobby in literally probably 10 years. And I sent him a text message and he, and he responded 30 seconds later. And he said, hey Bill, let's talk. And that, we began to pick things up at that point and began to do more and more with uh, HBI. That's awesome. Trans World Radio. Was that HCJB Global? Well, H they, we, we were the larger of the two. HCJB was the smaller, we were the larger. And they just had a name change, I think, right? Yeah. Oh, God, use that's amazing. Good stuff. So talk a little bit about the vision, the mission. So before you do that, talk a little bit more about your involvement with the ministry now. HBI okay. Uh, right now I'm, with, I'm on the board of HBI Global Partners. That's a part of what I do. I think more what I bring is I am a recruiter for a mission agency. And I bring connections uh, to HBI, partnerships. I just recently helped uh, Dr. Gupta make a connection with an organization that will send uh, PhDs to help teach classes. And that's probably my primary contribution, is helping HBI Global Partners grow. Awesome. How would you describe the vision or the mission or the heartbeat of the ministry? Wow. I know Bobby's passion, his heart, is that every Indian have the opportunity to hear the gospel message. A clear presentation. That's number one. And number two, that those that respond could be progressively discipled and to become mature followers of Jesus Christ. And then become disciple makers who would make other disciples and so that this process would grow and it would multiply. And, uh, and then his vision to train leaders. Anytime you go into a, a nation like India with unreached people, you send your evangelist first, and then you need pastors. But at some point, you've got to have trainers that will train those pastors how to study the scriptures, how to teach the scriptures, how to disciple people. And HBI fulfills all of those needs uh, with the evangelists, with the pastors, with the teachers, with the trainers. So it's, I love HBI. I think they just do an incredible job. That's good. Talk about evangelism efforts. How is the Lord using the ministry to help share the gospel? Well, you know, it's, let me just give you a simple example of what they did during the COVID shutdowns in India. The fact that they were able to uh, deliver food to thousands of people and many of those people responding to saying, you cared about us, you, you cared about who we were, about our physical needs, and, uh, and we want to hear the gospel message that you're sharing. Um, 2019, I was a part of a team that went to HBI in, India, or in Nepal. And we were training pastors there. We trained about 100 pastors covertly in three groups. And we had people come into those meetings and hear the gospel. And, and it was amazing to teach these pastors. Many of them were pastoring two churches, three churches, every week going out into villages, sharing the gospel one-on-one -on -one with people. Some being persecuted, uh, but still preaching the gospel message. It's amazing. Discipleship. How are they making disciples? Well, that's at the heart of, of HBI. Uh, discipleship starts before you become a Christian. It's that progressive process of coming to a knowledge, an awareness of your sin, and coming to know Christ, but then choosing to follow Him. 
and then choosing to make other disciples. And I love the fact that HBI has so many different modes of training uh, where they can educate people at each of those levels. Uh, their resources, their, their training. Talk about education without boundaries. Education without boundaries is really quite simply, it's an amazing thing for uh, an Asian ministry to do this. I mean, I know there's so many negative things that COVID has done, but one of the positives was it taught us that we need to make what we do more accessible to more people. Education without boundaries is going to be amazing. It's going to give pastors in villages the ability to take classes and to grow and to learn and to disciple their people better. That's awesome. Talk about ways people can get involved and support this ministry. Okay. As always, and I don't want this to be you know, simplistic, pray. You've got to pray. Reaching the people of India is not just a matter of strategy. It really does require the Holy Spirit to intervene, to break open hard hearts, people who've been deceived for years. You know, pray. Pray for the professors, their targets. Pray for Dr. Gupta. Pray for the ministry. Give. I wanna, and at that point, I want to say something to pastors. Pastors, there are a lot of ministries that are going to come to you, and they're going to say, hey, you ought to support our ministry. Send us your American dollars. We'd like to have them. I don't know of any Asian ministry that is more trustworthy than HBI in terms of how they use your finances. You support HBI, you will get a report on where every penny was spent. That's really unusual. Uh, I was a pastor 30 years. I did a lot of missions, and I'm telling you, it's, it's extraordinary. So give, and then go. Go, go short term. And again, I want to speak to pastors. Listen, pastors, I know you want to multiply your impact. I know you want to make a difference in the world. And you can send a check to HBI, and you need to do that. But you need to go teach at a pastor's conference. You need to go and sit under that tent when it's 100 degrees outside and watch these men sweating and taking notes and hungry to hear more and saying, please don't stop. Can, we, can you teach more? You need to multiply yourself a thousand times over and come and be a part of the team that trains pastors. Amen. That's good stuff. Why do you do what you do? 30 years pastoring, you've seen some things. I firmly believe that every person on the face of the earth ought to have equal access to the gospel. India has, has more unreached people groups than any other nation on earth. And any investor will say, well, if I'm going to invest my time and my energy, I want to put it where I can have the greatest impact. I think India is that place. And that's why I got involved with HBI. That's why I still go to HBI. That's why just two years ago I took five pastors to Nepal with HBI to teach and to train because we believe everyone ought to have access to the gospel. That's good. Final question, is there anything else the Lord put on your heart to share with us today? Hmm. This is really simple. Uh, pastors, missions pastors, church leaders, HBI is the real deal. They really do produce the results that they promise they'll produce. Their, their, their graduates are quality people with a level of commitment to the gospel of Jesus Christ that you won't see in a lot of places. If you invest in them, it's going to be a good investment with a great return. Amen. Praise the Lord. That is good. Horizon Media Studios, producers of the television series Answering the Call, is looking for Christ-centered, Bible-believing ministries to feature ministries like Gospel Rescue Missions, Homeless Shelters, Children's Homes, Bible Colleges and Universities, Mission Sending Agencies, Pregnancy Centers, and more. These are the doers of the word that James talks about. The Great Commission is to share the gospel and make disciples. Jesus taught us to pray the Lord of the harvest, to send out laborers into his harvest, and the harvest is ripe. 
We want to raise awareness of ministries and also mobilize the body of Christ to get involved and answer the call. Tell us about your favorite ministry. Email us at info at atctv.org.